Hello, so we've got another clear protein. Now this is a vegan one. It's also interesting because they they've really put a lot of money in between, it seems, the packaging of vegan ones versus um if I was to get a normal one versus this. <laughs> you see this is like a basic packaging. Um but so far the uh, vegan one, the strawberry one I had wasn't nice. The watermelon one that wasn't vegan wasn't that nice either. Um, but the iced tea one tastes exactly like iced tea. Let's do a packet smell. <laughs> okay, the initial smell was awful. That smells like vinegar a little bit. The vegan ones definitely do miss something compared to the um other ones because the watermelon wasn't that bad but you know wasn't the peach tea one ready off the bat this is meant to be apple and elderflower yeah i don't know what elderflower tastes like it does look like a cloudy apple drink which isn't bad um just a little bit of apple I think this tastes like whatever elderflower tastes like. Um, this isn't nice. Yeah, that isn't nice. That's the worst one I've had. Um, I don't think I'm going to like all the vegan ones. I don't know why I bought the vegan ones. Maybe the packaging looked different. Maybe I just want to try them all. But like, I'm not vegan. So... Hmm. Let's do it different. Look at the contents of what's inside here. Uh, 52 calories. Um, carbs are 2.7, no sugars. Oh, 1 gram of sugar, sorry. 10 grams of protein, 0 0.44 grams of salt. Then it has, if you wanted, the active ingredient, this is called nicine. Nice. This drink was not nice. Uh, Antophenic acid, vitamin B6, B2, B1, folic acid, biotin, and B12. Hydrolyzed pea protein is 79%. Apple juice powder is 5%. Elder flower powder is 4.5%. Let's just look in. Compare this to, uh, right, that's probably the, the, the smell, that's the difference, because the normal ones about vegan have whey protein hydrolysate, which is milk, apparently. It's 94%. And it also has a sweetener. And silicon dioxide. Ooh. Okay. But, that's probably why... The other ones taste on the non-vegan ones taste type because it has a sweetener and they use a different protein. So that makes sense. Definitely a hard miss. That tastes awful. That does taste like it's extracted from some form of laboratory to make it taste like this. Um Yeah, it's nasty. Maybe it's just the elderflower. I can't really taste apple. But I'd give the drink a 3 out of 10 overall. I was mm, glad I didn't buy any form of a uh, tub of that. I mean, I do still have the tub of blue raspberry to try. That's the vegan one. Um, a load of people said it was nice. So hopefully I'm not wrong there. Well, they're not wrong. But yeah, smell. I, I don't know. I'm just going to give an overall rating of 3 out of 10. It, it was terrible. Um, so yeah.